And which important areas, this is the one job interviewees always hate, mm. which important areas would you say are your weakest? I'm very bad on science. I was not good at science at school. Um, I got pretty bad O-level results in science and maths. I was much stronger on the arts, the languages, that side of um, the academic world. So if the children are ill at home, you know, my wife does not turn to me for solutions and so on. Um, I'm bad on, on medicine and, and, and physical health and, and being able to know um, the symptoms and, and cures for things. So those are my weak areas. I, I know I'm weak on sciences. And that's why one thing that has been interesting here is there are a lot of very strong engineers in Gloucester, particularly with the nuclear power industry, for example, that's really engineering driven. And there are a lot of capable people in the manufacturing world who are engineers, again. So those are areas where I have no expertise of my own, but I can understand the business end of it. And sometimes that's just as important. I mean, for example, British Energy made a decision some years ago to go for a way of, of creating power from, uh, from nuclear sources, which was different to the way that it was done in Europe, in fact, anywhere else in the world. And as a result, we weren't really able to export it. So it meant that our, our own domestic nuclear power capability was stunted by going for a new technology which nobody else in the world was really pursuing. And that, I think, was a wrong business decision. It might have been brilliant scientifically, but it was wrong business-wise. And so you need a combination of, of different skills.